Uh, hello. Uh, it's been a while since I've done one of these, um, so I guess welcome back to uh, RPG Maker tutorial. Uh, this one, we're going to talk about um, how to uh, use a ship and airship and how to use these events in RPG Maker 2003. Uh, this is a bit of a continuation from the uh, Caterpillar uh, system by Kentona, and this is also um, the, uh, Kentona's. So I'm just going to get into it. It should be short and quick, which is nice. Um, but I'm going to just start the, uh, the game and um, just show you what you should be able to do by the end of this. Um, so I've got all my players here. And this is entirely by choice, but uh, here's here's the boat. Um, so you should be able to move along with all your players behind you, but they don't have to be there necessarily. And then with airship, um, you should be able to fly and um, your, your teammates follow you. So let's just go into the um, programming. Um, I didn't know about this, but this is really important. So you're going to go into database and this is how you configure to make sure everything uh, is working. So you go into system, uh, database system, and here are the uh, types of um, ships you can choose. So uh, the boat doesn't have to be the boat. Um, the boat can be any one of these things, like it can be a... Um, uh, I think this is a oh, I, I look to me like a sea turtle, but that looks to me like a type of airship. Uh, you know, the boat could be this, and then the ship could be um, uh, this. Uh, and you just want to double click and then click on one and hit OK, and that'll let you choose between uh, what you want. That's a dragon, and there's your um, different types. So you're gonna hit apply. The next thing that you want to do um, to configure it, make sure it works on the right terrain, and this is where I, I messed up, was you're going to go to terrain and see each terrain that's preset for you. Uh, there's vehicle passage settings, and of course an airship can pass and land on, on planes, uh, but it can't land on, let's say, the, the ocean or beach. So, um, beach would be like uh, the, the light blue that you see here versus uh, ocean blue, which is like the dark blue. As this has all been pre-configured, and I'll show you in a minute. So, you're going to look at each terrain and, and match the number. So, here's 10 is ocean. Nine is beach, uh, damage floor, so an airship can go through that, but, you know, boat can't go through the planes. Uh, if you want it to, you can just experiment and see, but um, I just want to wrap this video up really quickly. It's a quick tutorial. Uh, and uh, you can play around with those. And the way to do that is to go from terrain to tile sets. And if you click on um, terrain uh, for planes um, uh, or, or tile sets, the world map. So this, this is an example. Uh, you go down here, you click right click and you say this is world map. So you know which tile set you're using. You go back to database, you go to tile sets and then there you go, world map. And this is what you're configuring. configuring. And as you can see uh, here, nine um, beach, that represents uh, the terrain. So blue is blue beach. Um, but let's say you wanted to change that. You could just click uh, here and say, okay, everything I click now is a wasteland. And if you click on this, it becomes four. Now that doesn't make any sense, um, but it, what will happen is the terrain for this uh, pixel dot will be configured to the terrain here. So the boat can't pass 
on on blue anymore because you've said that on this tile set uh, this is actually wasteland so wasteland boat can't pass so don't do that and just uh, go back to beach click on beach and then click it again and now it's nine and now it makes sense because that's the beach uh, that's the train of beach and now it can pass or the ship can pass and the air can pass so once you've done that or and uh, thankfully it's already uh, pre-configured um, when you open up a new RPG maker you'll get these uh, terrains if not you can always just um, so if you needed to create another one you could just say um, okay so this is going to be uh, I, I don't know a random type of terrain that looks like a bathhouse and um, everything can pass on it and it's number 11. So when I go to a tile set that's like a uh, world map and we have that new train which is random, I can now assign everything and say, hey, that's an 11, that's an 11 uh, versus it being a, a one type. So that's the, the gist of it, which is uh, very simple. Um, and you're gonna hit apply. Um, the last thing that you're going to do is you're going to right click where the airship, ship, and boats are. So right click, click, right click, and say, um, so here is a vehicle starting position. And then you're going to click uh, which where that starting position is. So we've got boat, ship, airship. Um, now I already have boat here and airship, but I could add, um, I could add the, the, uh, the, sh the ship up here oh oops so that sorry that's that's a, apparently the uh, oh nope <laughs> so that's apparently the boat so we'll have the boat down there and then um, oh you can have more than one boat okay great uh, or wait no so boat ship airship right um, if I change this to ship it'll just move over one okay great so you can only have one of each my apologies um, and uh, I can change the, the boat here. So there you go. So you have one of each uh, on on a single map. Um, and you can apply it to as many maps as, as you wish. So a village could also have all three, but it's unnecessary. So we're going to start again just to make sure everything's good and you have one of each available. And there's your ship that you requested that can do all these things. Uh, there's the boat that's requested can do all these things and uh, the airship which is now a, a dragon Oops. A and there is also a terrain that shows where you can land so uh, I configured it so that the wasteland train that airship can't land but it can land on uh, regular tile platforms or the uh, the main tile platforms so the, the final configuration, and this is very important, is uh, recognizing when the player is in an airship versus when it's not. Because we already have the Caterpillar, and uh, you can learn how to do this in the other Caterpillar Cantona video. But this is the uh, Ship Cantona video, so we'll just skip over Caterpillar. Um, now you can have the, the characters fall in behind you. Or you can just have them disappear and reappear, and I'll show you how to do that. So I'm going to exit out here. So you're going to use this this uh, um, uh, uh, RPG Maker code by Cantona um, to to program it. So you're going to say conditional branch if if the ship is driven or if the airship is driven. Um, you can even add if the boat is driven. So I can add that down here one more and then say if boat is driven. And then likewise have a switch that says um, riding, riding boat or riding skiff. I, I think that's what he had before. But let's just say that, that, that this all says boat, 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 boat. And then um, boat. And you're going to copy and paste the code essentially so it's all going to be the same uh, and I'll go through each piece and what that means so when the ship 
is driven. So when the player gets inside the boat, you're going to have the characters follow uh, the player and then turn the the ship the 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 riding ship on so it's 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 on so else if if it's just on and the ship is no longer driven which is now just the on code then you're going to have all the players call back to you in the uh, caterpillar positioning and then say it's off again so we can loop the process uh, one final part uh, just to make sure everyone disappears is to add a switch that says the um, character is in ship so just to go to control switches uh, yeah, yeah I'm sure you already know that and then uh, go to character in uh, veh vehicle and just add a switch and then turn that on and when they're not in the vehicle uh, turn it off very simple and the final thing that you want to do is uh, so turn so on off uh, add that to the boat on and then uh, or airship so add it to the ship add it to the airship then uh, add it to the boat so that goes off and um, the in vehicle is on here so let me just check that so they're in vehicle, they're off the vehicle. Um, and they're always approaching the player, which is important. So you'll want to do insert and then set move route. And then uh, the, the follow, and then uh, add the uh, move toward player. So that's where you can find that on the, on the second page. Or approach player. Move toward player, approach player. Um, so that it'll be the same code, same code, same code. And the last touch, uh, just so we have the characters disappearing, is to go to each one, add a new page, because uh, this is parallel process um, with all the, the Caterpillar code that we have. And then say, if the characters in vehicle, uh, they're, they're, they disappear. They're, they're just not there. Um, and we have them following the player anyway, so we don't need to copy and paste. We just need this. So copy the page and give it to each character as parallel below or parallel same as it's, I don't think it truly matters. Um, but if I hit play, let's bring this up again. And, um, I hit new game and go in the boat. See, now they're gone. And um, they'll appear once I get out. Ta-da. Oh, no. OK, so um, uh, one last thing that you have to do. Uh, I know it looks funny, but it, it, it'll fix itself um, once you've made this, this switch, um, is to take the. Um, One last thing is the call event and then um, uh, da, 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 erase event. Yes. So you've only done it once rather than it continuously calling it. That's the last little thing that you needed to add. And then it will stop that loop process. And then it should be fine. Let me just check that. Okay, so you're in, blah, 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 then uh, you're out. Oops, should have called the player. What, the, what happened? <laughs> um, hold on. 